Hi everyone, it's Melissa and welcome back to Four Quarter Crafts. Happy Friday evening everybody. If you are watching this tonight, I hope you guys all had a wonderful week. I wanted to share with you this fall farmhouse DIY that I made. It is a hanging tapestry and I made this using all items purchased from the Dollar Tree. And I think this turned out really, really cute. And if you're interested in seeing how I made it, let's get started with the supplies. I used a black and white striped rug, a nunchucks toy, which I'll get to in a minute, some decorative nautical rope, a black and white buffalo check head wrap, which I'm obsessed with, and five burlap leaves. So we're going to start with this toy. Now, if you can see these nunchucks, you can actually twist them to make some kind of like ninja sword or I'm not, I'm not sure what it is. But when I figured out by looking at the package that you could twist this together, I knew I wanted to use this for this project. So I just combined it to make the, por the portion of the project that I could hang the tapestry on. So I'm going to put a line of hot glue on the, um, this is like a, a throw kitchen rug, and I put a line of hot glue right beneath the tassels and just uh, went ahead and attached it to the um, toy there. And then I'm just squeezing it together and I uh, only did uh, from the tassels so that I could have the most amount of fabric hanging down. So now we're going to start with the nautical rope and um, I'm just going to spell out fall in cursive. So here I am figuring out uh, the placement and how big I actually want to uh, make the fall sign for spelling it out. So this isn't exactly how I'm doing it. You guys will see how I do it in just a second. but. It's really important just to figure out the size and the spacing first. So that is what I'm doing here. And now we're gonna start hot gluing. So I just um, put some glue on the beginning of the F and curved it around. And I'm gonna, you guys will see, I'm gonna alternate between putting the glue on the rug part or the rope. It just depends on the angle that I'm working with. Either way is fine, whichever way you're comfortable with. Um, so I'm just going to make my F, and here I'm showing you how I kind of curve it around. So I'm going to actually make it look like an eight, if that makes sense. So my rope will be coming from the center of the F to go into the A. So you can see how it's overlapping. The bottom left rope is overlapping in the center. And so I'm gluing that down. And then my A, I am there you go, I'm making a curve. So I am going to put a dot of hot glue to keep it in place and put some more glue there and then bring it around the bottom. And then I'm going to double up the rope again to make the right part of the A. And there's the glue holding it down. And then the L's are, are pretty simple, self-explanatory. You just want to put the glue. And um, the only thing you want to make sure of on this part is that the top of your L is the same height as the top of your F. That way it just, you know, looks uniform. It just uh, looks like it's supposed to be that way. <laughs> so, um, yeah, here I am just putting the glue on the rope. Like I said, you can alternate between putting the glue on the rope or the rug, whichever way you prefer. Um, I actually preferred doing the straight lines, putting the, the glue on the, the rug and the parts where it has more of a curve, I put the glue on the rope. That way it was just kind of easier to maneuver. So there you go, very simple. I'm just going to continue making my L the same with the same height as the F. And if you guys have any questions at all on you know how I overlap the cursive let me know but I, th I think if you if you watch this you can pretty much see the way that I did it um, and like I said you can do it any way you want make it your own this is just how I did it so once I was done spelling it out I put some glue on the end of my L and attached it and so here is what it looks like and now with the rest of my rope that I just cut off I'm just going to split it in half so I have equal sides and I cut it there and now I'm going to loop it. I'm just going to place the loop underneath the, I'm gonna call it a branch, okay? I'm gonna place the loop underneath the branch and then put the two sides in the middle of that loop and pull. So this is going to create the hanging portion of the tapestry. 
And um, like I said, you can do this whichever way you want. I just like the way that this looked hanging this way. And with the rest of my rope, I am gluing each side together because you will have two pieces of the rope. So I'm just gluing it together. You don't have to, like I said. <laughs> but um, this is just my preference. So I wanted the rope to look a little bit thicker. So I'm just gluing those together. And then when you get to the top, you will have those pieces that do not connect. So I'm just connecting all four of my pieces with glue. And then I'm going to take my head wrap. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know I am absolutely obsessed with this. I think it is so perfect for farmhouse DIYs. So I'm just going to cut off the ends of my head wrap and then I'm going to place the sides together and hot glue it. And then I'm going to pinch it into the center. And then the part that I cut off, the kind of stretchy headband part, I'm going to just glue that to the center too. Um, give it a little bit of difference, but it also, you know, makes it look really pretty. <laughs> so now I'm going to take uh, two burlap leaves and I cut the bottoms off and I am just gluing those together and putting more glue to place my bow. And there you go. Very simple. And then uh, just adding this to the top where my ropes connect, putting more glue and hanging it. And then I'm going to take my other three burlap leaves. These have um, the stem that is like a wire. So all I'm doing is bending it. I didn't want to glue it in case I wanted to take it off and maybe change it out in the future. But all you have to do is really just bend the wire and it will hang perfectly for you. So here is what it looks like. And... Um, Gosh, I just really love how this turned out. And I knew when I saw these nunchucks that I was like, I looked at the top portion of it and I was like, wait a minute, those can screw together and that can actually make something um, longer. So that was actually what inspired this craft. Um, I would actually probably love to make like a window craft. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful evening and I will